Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Now, in broad terms, the forecast for the next week or so is fairly straightforward. Overall, it's going to be on the cool side and the weather's going to be chopping and changing quite a bit. Now, that means there will at times be some windows of sunshine. But actually, I think the emphasis generally, especially through the Easter weekend, is that rain will never be too far away and often it'll be quite blustery. Now, let's take a look at the big picture because it kind of spells out the forecast throughout next week as well as the upcoming weekend. As usual, let's take a look at the big picture and high up in the atmosphere, the jet stream, that fast flowing ribbon of air that drives weather systems. Now, it has a warm side to the south of it and a cool side to the north of it. And we are most definitely on the cool side and running through the sequence into next week. Notice how the jet stream remains to the south of the UK. And so we always remain on that cool side. The jet stream also tends to dictate the paths of low pressure systems. And as we run again through the sequence throughout the Easter weekend, you can see the low pressure systems milling around the UK. Their weather fronts bringing spells of rain. When the isobars squeeze together, the winds will be picking up. And the main theme is that low pressure, like the jet stream, will be mostly focused across the south. And that's where we'll see the heaviest and most persistent rain. Having said that, there'll be some wet weather in the far northeast on Thursday and that could fall as snow in places. Band of rain working its way up across southern areas. Some brightness in between and temperatures below average for the time of year. And that is something we'll need to get used to. There's the low pressure system for Good Friday as well. Some uncertainty about the exact position of this low, but it's going to be a bit like a, a washing machine, bringing spells of rain swirling around it, especially over England and Wales through Good Friday and into Saturday. But there is a bit of a window in there as one low clears and before another one arrives for Easter Day itself. Yes, Sunday may well be the driest and the brightest, but also one of the chilliest days of the long weekend. We may well start Easter Day with a frost, especially across northern Britain through Northern Ireland and parts of Wales. So yes, it could be a chilly start and it won't be completely dry. There'll still be some showers as one low clears to the east and the threat of more rain into the southwest later. But actually, as I said, for many at the moment, Easter Day could be dry. But again, look at those temperatures still in single figures. So it's going to be a cold start to April. And then that next weather system down to the southwest may well move north for Monday. Now, there's, again, a lot of uncertainty about the position of this low. But with the cold air coming back over the weekend, as this wet weather moves northwards from these weather fronts and bumps into that cold air, there is the threat of some snow. Now, this is a long way off, but this is Easter Monday and there'll be a lot of people out on the road. So just bear that in mind. Could be some unpleasant traveling conditions on Monday and obviously we'll be keeping a close eye on that and keep you updated closer to the time. As for beyond the Easter weekend, well, again, let's take a look at the big picture and where we're likely to see the jet stream. Even well into next week, it's maintaining this position well to the south of the UK. So we stay on the cold side of the jet. And again, low pressure systems look like dominating. And again, particularly across the southern half of the UK, the closer you are to the low pressure, the wetter it's likely to be. So again, parts of Northern Britain, particularly Western Scotland, where we've had a very sunny March, may well see some of the driest conditions well into next week. But overall, it's more of the same, chopping and changing, spells of rain, and always staying on the chilly side of things. Now, there are signs that beyond next week into the following weekend, well, there's hints that it might just start to settle down a little bit. And of course, with some power in the sun, a bit of fine weather will soon be noticeable and could cause a big jump in the temperatures. But that's a long way off. We'll firm up on the details as always over the next few days. We may well have more on that potentially settled weather in next week's 10 day trend. But for the time being, yes, think rain and winds with a bit of sunshine in between. There'll be more details on the Easter forecast as always on our website, on our YouTube channels, and of course, across social media.